hanky I offered to make into a ring pillow um, was a vintage one, really pretty, has actual tatting on it. Um, I was impressed that it's more than just the uh, hidden chick like you see a lot of times, or just uh, rings and uh, a connecting thread, what, what you might call rings and strings. It actually has a uh, three ring with a chain between them, but it was so fragile that it wouldn't hold up to a monogram. So at um, Blanks Etc., they sell modern handkerchiefs. has a little bit more substance to it. This one happens to have handmade bobbin lace. Uh, and what I'm doing is I've made the um, little ring pillow and actually attached a a band for the little guy to put his hands in. Makes it a little easier to carry. And I'm sewing the two hankies on top of the pillow just with uh, vintage natural pearls. So no two are exactly alike. But what I've done to eliminate knots and I've just unthreaded my needle. That's how it goes. My side is not what it was. Okay. So well, to eliminate knots, I've threaded the two cut ends through the eye of the needle. That leaves me with a loop of thread, and that's what how I'll knot this without making a true knot. So somewhere here in the mid in the middle, I'll take my needle into um, both of the hankies and into the base pillow, and I'll take it through and then add the little pearl. The needle now goes through the loop and I am tied on without a knot. I'm taking the needle down through the little self-eyelet eye of the button through the button each time and then down through two hankies and as deep as I can into the pillow so it will be secure. Sometimes these little guys when they go down the aisle they're kind of rambunctious. I want everything to stay in place. I'm going to take a couple of rounds and then again I won't be making a knot but just kind of sewing in place and burying that thread end. should be secure. Let me trim it close. We've got a few more to go, but I think it's going to be quite pretty.